Hello everyone, on this video you will learn how to publish your ASP.NET Core web application, web API to IIS by using Visual Studio 2022. So on this tutorial you learn how to create a project in Visual Studio 2022, it's going to be a ASP.NET Core web API, you're going to run the basic project, then we're going to set up IIS to work with the hosting, um, a ASP.NET Core web application. We're going to publish it from Visual Studio 2022 to IIS and we're going to test our core project. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is create a new project. So we're going to open Visual Studio 2022, create a new project. We're going to pick ASP. Oops. We're going to search ASP.NET Core Web API. This one here, go ahead and create. So publish core web API test. That's the name of our project. Go ahead and click next and go ahead and click create. Give it a second. All right, so let's make sure our uh, core project it's working. Go ahead and run it. And it looks like it's up and running. Just so you guys know, it comes with uh, these, this wrapper uh, called Swagger. It's a UI for testing purposes, so we don't have to worry about this right now. Let's go ahead and close it. All right, so we're good to go on our project. Our project is created. Let's go ahead and go to IS and set up a brand new site. But before you start, make sure you go to the Microsoft, go to Google and type .NET Core Hosting Bundle 6.0. It's gonna be the very first result, a download on the very first result. Um, you can pick whatever you want here. But um, let's go ahead and do the hosting bundle right here in Windows, hosting bundle. Just do that, go ahead and install. Once it's installed, go ahead and open um, IS. Okay, I already done all that, and I have IS up and running. So first thing I'm gonna do is create a new site. So right, I'm gonna right click on my folder here, add a website, and let's click publish ASP core test. Okay, let's, I'm going to copy this for now because I'm going to need it a little bit. I'm going to put a notepad for now. So it's a notepad here. I'm going to create a new location for my folders, for my files. I have a, no, 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 C, I'm going to go to D. I'm going to you not users, sites, new sites. This is going to be published ASP core test. Go ahead and click OK. I'm gonna pick a port 811, oops, I'm sorry, 282, there you go. So let's make sure my tests work, my, my site works. Go ahead and uh, go to right click on the site, click manage website and click browse. Give it a second, it's probably open it up here. So yeah, it, lo it looks good, it's up and running. We just don't have any files to be ran there, right? So now that we downloaded .NET, 6.0, .NET 6.0 to host IIS Core. We created our website. Now we're gonna publish our site from Visual Studio 2022 into IIS. Let's go back to Visual Studio. Now in order to publish, go ahead and right click on your project name and click publish. And what you're gonna choose here, you're gonna choose web server IIS and you're gonna choose web deploy. Go ahead and click next. Server name, because my IS is located on my localhost, it's just going to be localhost. Localhost is going to be my server name. And the site name is going to be the site name that I saved up, which is publish ASP core test. And if you go back to IS, that's with the name of your site right there. Go ahead and paste it. And the destination URL, it's actually going to be the URL of your newly created site. So right click on your site click manage website and click browse. This is the RIL, URL that we're looking for. Go ahead and click on it, I'll go ahead and copy and paste it and go ahead and finish. Okay, in order to publish to our site, we need to have admin rights on the machine or on the machine, okay? So I'm gonna exit out Visual Studio right now. I'm gonna go back in it, type Visual Studio I'm gonna right click on the Visual Studio and run as an administrator. I'm gonna pick my project, now I'm back on my project. 
All right, so final step here, it's going to be click publish. Once our publish profile has already been created, just go ahead and, all right, so let me go to that folder where I created, where we're gonna be post posting all of our files. So you see the folder is empty right now, okay? Let's go ahead and publish. All right, let's give it a second. All right, so as you guys can see here, the file, the the the, the path, it, it's not empty anymore. We got some files here. So our project has been published to our folder and to IIS. And let's open up IIS one more time. Right click on IIS, go to manage website and go to browse. Give it a second. All right, so you will be getting this page which says error 404 page cannot be found. It's not that it cannot be found. It's just that we don't have a default URL to go to. So in order to test it, you know, remember your project here. Your project only has one controller and it's gonna be the weather forecast controller. So to test it, let's go ahead and uh, all we have to do is your original URL slash just type weather forecast controller well, I'm sorry just weather forecast and hit enter and there it is so your ASP.NET web core web API it is up and running right now it just don't have doesn't have a default URL like on your uh, developing it you know here it, it's it defaults on your project it's always defaults to swagger right but when you run it when you run from IIS or from whatever you're running it from it's gonna default to the default URL. And then all you gotta do is call the controllers right after, weather forecast. Oh, four. And there you go. So pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, uh, just drop a comment below.